Five year review represents our current situation with the car and we only driven about 30k miles. The specific accord is a 1.5 CVT trim and it weighs 3,208 pounds. This engine is a four cylinder turbocharged VTEC by Earth Dreams. This car has 192 horsepower and 192 torque. The car has been treating us well. There hasn't been any major issues so far. It's really spacious and agile if it needs to be. Economy wise, it's really good on gas and miles per gallon. On paper, one should get 29 in the city, 35 on the highway speeds, and 31 miles per gallon if combined. This is the same milestone my dad started losing here. And for the inside, we had a LED lights or illuminations. And we got a spoiler in the back that actually lights up when you hit the brakes. Infotainment is smooth. You see Apple CarPlay, it works. You got Spotify, um, Maps, and you can call. Are you Siri? As for the space in the back, I got a lot of head and leg room. For me, I'm five nine and a half, basically five ten. And um, yeah, don't mind my shoes, but yeah, it's a lot of space. It has a lot of pros, but it also has a few cons. One would be there's no ventilation on the seat, so like whenever it's cold. We can't even heat up the seat, we gotta rely on the air conditioner. And number two is that the passenger seat's not automatic, so you gotta adjust it manually. And there's no vertical movement. And number three is the stock sound system. Like, it could be better, but like, it wasn't that bad, but it wasn't even that good. And number four was that the sport trim didn't have any USB port slots for the people in the back. So, there was only one charger that we could use. Another con is the stock tires, because they weren't even so reliable during the winter. So what we did because of this problem is that we bought Cross Climate 2 tires by Michelin. It's probably the best tires out right now. Apart from the other mods like the tires, the Dragon sticker on the side skirt, we also bought a Rockford Fosgate subwoofer that enhanced the music. And as y'all can see, the trunk has a lot of cubic space and it's the best in its mid-size sedan class. Overall, I would rate the user experience a 9 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it provides the driver more than enough you could ask for.